Thanks to Brilliant.org for sponsoring this video. It's exam season and the very best of luck to you who are taking exams. Now this video is I think going to be particularly relevant to you guys and it's a video I've been meaning to make for a long time. It's about this two word phrase that I've stolen from my dad. Dad, what's that two word phrase that you use as your philosophy? Oh, you mean proactive serendipity? Proactive serendipity is the phrase that summarises my philosophy on life for the past couple of years. And I think it's particularly relevant to those of you taking exams at the moment. But before explaining what it means, let me tell you a story. In December last year, YouTube flew me to New York to take part in the first global creator camp, which meant I got to meet a bunch of awesome YouTubers, including Lucy Moon, Chris Ramsey, and Binging with Babish. It meant that I got to see New York for the first time in the snow. And it meant that this happened. I got to meet Tom Hanks. And yes, he was incredibly lovely and had a great handshake and was like everyone's grandpa. And it was a high point of my life so far, meeting one of my favorite actors who's been in some of my favorite movies of all time. So why did this happen? I was selected out of all the people on this website to go to New York because of this video. Well, and this video and these videos, and these videos. I've been making videos on YouTube for a long time, since 2010. And since that first very amateur video, I've gone on to make over 300 on this channel alone. That's not even counting the hundreds I've made for other people. And from a baseline of no video knowledge whatsoever, I've gone on to make videos which I'm genuinely proud of. Over the years and through the grind, I gradually built up an audience and eventually I had enough of an audience to apply for YouTube Next Up, which I did. And from YouTube Next Up, I was selected to travel to the Global Creator Camp. The point is, while I didn't upload my videos to specifically travel to New York and meet Tom Hanks one day, I invested a bunch of time and effort into something, trying to make videos that were gonna help people. And from all that hard work, an opportunity presented itself. Even if the opportunity wasn't exactly the end goal I was striving towards. So what does proactive serendipity mean then? It's putting yourself in a position where you can be lucky. Yes, absolutely. There are times in life when you have a definite goal to work towards, like your exams. You know you can be assessed on certain things, so you study those things, you sit the paper, and you get a mark. But not everything is in your control. Proactive serendipity is the idea that the best you can do in any situation in life is to work and put effort in to get yourself in a position where good things can happen to you. So in the case of an exam, that means opening up the exam paper and finding questions that you can answer. The choice of questions is completely out of your control, and the best you can do is work to the point where you're very likely to get questions that you can answer. But it isn't guaranteed. You might open the paper and get a bunch of questions that are all in areas you're weak in. The thing is, pretty much all situations in life rely on a little bit of luck, and often that luck is only accessible to you if you've put in a bunch of time and effort beforehand. In other words, people who get lucky are lucky if, and only if, they have put in a bunch of time and effort before to make that luck accessible to them. So, for example, people who get good grades in exams got lucky that questions that they could answer came up, but they were only able to be lucky because they put in all of that time beforehand that maximised the chances that they would get questions they could answer. So a significant part of your exam's success is dependent on luck. But what happens if you plough all of your effort into exam preparation and you get unlucky? Or something goes wrong? I imagine a lot of you watching this video are preparing to sit exams and you're terrified of the idea of getting a bad grade in your exams. Well, you know, a single bad grade is going to ruin my life, you might be thinking. No. It doesn't have to. Sure, getting a bad grade is incredibly disheartening. It's not what you wanted. But a single failure doesn't mean defeat, for one thing. And remember, if you put a bunch of time into preparing for the exam, you put yourself in a position where good things could happen to you in the exam. But not just the exam. Let me give you an example. 
When I was finishing my undergrad, I had the offer to do a PhD in hand. I just needed to get more than a 2-1 overall in my degree, which meant getting more than 50% in my final exams. When it came to the final exams though, I basically had a complete mental breakdown. See my Draw My Life video for more details. I completely bombed the exams and ended up missing my overall 2-1 requirement by less than a tenth of a percent. My supervisor wasn't allowed to take me on and give me funding because of my grade. But because of my academic record up until that point, as well as a summer research project I'd done in their department the year before, they were able to sort me out with funding with a different supervisor on a similar topic at a different university, Exeter. The cumulative work I'd put into my degree, as well as the work I'd done to make myself known to the department, had the end goal of trying to get a PhD placed there. And when that didn't work out, the work had still happened. I was still known as a competent scientist and as a hard worker, and I was still in a position where good things could happen to me. Even if the stuff that happened wasn't quite what I'd intended in the first place. The point is that working towards your goals doesn't guarantee success. Sure, sometimes it does, and the probability of success definitely increases the more work you put in. But putting the work in, investing the time, in my experience, has a funny way of eventually paying off, no matter what. No, this isn't karma. I don't believe in that kind of thing. I don't believe that by uploading videos to YouTube, I earned the karmic right to meet one of the greatest actors of all time, or by working hard, the karmic right to a PhD place. My philosophy is simply that you need to work hard to achieve your goals. But in order to achieve them, you often need a little bit of luck. Luck that's only accessible to you if you've put the time in beforehand. And if you don't get lucky, despite the amount of work you throw at something, it doesn't mean that that work was wasted. Good things can still come of it. So if you're taking exams, the very best of luck to you, and definitely work your absolute hardest in preparation. Maximize the chance that things can go your way in the exam. But know that if things don't go your way, it's not the end of the world. Your work will still count for something. You just need to be open to the opportunities that life presents you with. I bombed a bunch of exams at the worst possible time, but moving to Exeter for my PhD was the single best thing that's ever happened to me. And it wasn't even an option I considered when applying for PhDs. I got really lucky, but I was only able to be really lucky because I'd worked really hard. Proactive serendipity. But it also needs to be taken into account with Clark's second principle, which is long handled uh, screwdriver in. <laughs> <laughs> if you're preparing for exams, then one of the best ways you can do so is to do past papers from your exam board. But personally, I found that by answering questions on the same subject matter in different formats, in different environments, meant I got so much more out of my revision. So as well as past papers, I recommend if you're preparing for exams, test yourself on brilliant.org. Brilliant is an educational website based around science and maths, and they have a quiz feature where you can jump into practice questions on a topic of your choice. It's a fantastic way to revise material, and they also have structured courses ranging from elementary maths and science to advanced topics like relativity and neural networks, should you wish to go over your material in more detail. Go to brilliant.org forward slash Simon Clark and sign up for this amazing website for free. And in addition to that, the first 200 people to go to that link will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. Thank you so much, Brilliant, for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching. I apologise that there was something of a dry spell on this channel for about a week, which apparently is enough for some of you to think that I retired or died. But rest assured, I'm back. I basically had to take some time out to focus on my thesis corrections, which... Fingers crossed, at the time of recording, are basically done now, and so I'm back focusing on making content for you guys full time. Incidentally, if you're not aware, I've started live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash Dr. Simon Clark, where if you're preparing for exams, I've been going through past papers for physics and maths in an attempt to sharpen up my somewhat rusty skills and also show you guys how to tackle problems and how to make the most out of revising with past papers. Definitely follow me on Twitch if you haven't already and thank you again for watching this video. Do give it a like if you enjoyed it and share it with people that you think might enjoy my, I don't want to call it a philosophy, but life view, I guess? Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.